So that was part one of the demonstration for fixing this complex overpass. As you'll see when we complete part two, really in a matter of minutes, we'll be able to fix this whole overpass and it's just a whole lot simpler, all working within Geomatica. In part one of the demonstration, what we did is we essentially fixed all of the elevation. We had some interpolation errors on the different stacks of the uh, overpass from the, the three different layers. And uh, that was causing our orthos to look a little bit warped along some of the edges of the bridges and the overpasses. And so by fixing the elevation values and properly connecting all the different pieces, we're able to have uh, nice, clean, sharp edges. So we've gotten rid of that problem. Now the next problem we have is uh, because the uh, pictures that are taken on board the uh, high resolution camera on board the plane are taken from different angles, we have areas of occlusion, we have areas of duplication uh, where there is basically no data in our final uh, product uh, that, we, that we have right now. And, uh, and, and this is just not very nice. We have some jagged edges as well. Uh, but what we do have is we have multiple images that are all overlapping this one overpass. And what we, can, what we can do is we can pick the one that fits the best and essentially copy a piece of it and paste it into our final mosaic. So that's really the final uh, part of this uh, demonstration. And uh, you'll see in a few minutes here, we'll be completely done the overpass and it's uh, really quite simple. So the first thing I'll do is I will load up the same area so at this point, what we've done is we've uh, fixed all of the ele elevation values. And you can see here, if I load up the uh, DEM editing panel, that uh, those changes that we made to the DEM have been applied. If I zoom in a little bit here, you can see that those uh, uh, road average filters and the opposite ends fill for underlying road and for the three different layers are, are all, uh, have all been applied. And so uh, now if I switch to the, uh, if I switch to the actual uh, ortho and you know, what, our, what our final product's gonna look like right now, you can see that I have some problems. Uh, number one, uh, these edges are really not acceptable. They're quite jagged. And uh, the reason for that is that the uh, digital elevation model uh, that's been calculated is, is just too coarse. So we need to make a uh, higher resolution DEM a, over this particular location so that we can fix this jagged edge. We have some, some duplication here. Uh, you can see that the, the edge of the uh, bridge is actually duplicated, and that's just because of the viewing angle from the multiple, um, there's five different uh, uh, possible uh, pictures that we can choose from to, uh, to, to make our final ortho uh, mosaic product over this overpass. And so there's duplication of some of the features, and we ha also have some occlusion areas. Maybe we have some parts of the road underneath here that are just occluded because uh, because of the view angle on some of these uh, images. So the first thing I'll do is I will uh, turn on a special setting. This is a, uh, a smart geofill set setting that's going to resample the elevation model that's going to be used for the orthorectification at the resolution of the mosaic. And that's really what's going to allow us to have nice clean edges. So I'll go ahead and do that. I'll go back to my, uh, my polygon, uh, edit, edit via polygon tab, and I'm going to open some uh, polygons which have already been drawn. These have been very precisely drawn along the edge of the overpass, the different uh, parts of the overpass. And uh, so you can see them here that we've actually broken down this overpass into a, a series of uh, smaller polygons that we wanna essentially pick, take the best image copy from it and then paste it into the final mosaic. So I'll define a one-to-one -one ortho preview so that I can take a look at um, the best ortho that's going to fit into the final mosaic. So what, what it's doing now is it's essentially uh, taking all of the overlapping uh, images for the one-to-one -one ortho preview uh, area that I've selected it's applying that special setting, so it's resampling at 15 centimeters the DEM. It's orthorectifying all of the images to give me a preview uh, here in the window. Okay, so as you can see, I've selected the uh, polygon, and uh, what I can do is I can actually um, look at the uh, best matching ortho. I have multiple ortho images that I could be using for this particular location. So if I cycle through them, with ortho one, there's a complete discontinuity here. 
If I pick uh, ortho 2, that looks a little bit better, but again, I've got, I'm getting some duplication. Ortho 3 looks pretty good. So I can essentially go uh, from this menu now. So over this polygon, what I'll do is I'll, I'll copy that. And you can see this is what the final mosaic looks like right now. And I'll just paste that layer in. So now I've got a nice smooth edge and perfectly aligning uh, ortho over that particular polygon. So I'll move now to uh, another polygon. So I'll uh, just switch back to right here and I'm going to select this uh, topmost polygon. And I'll, again, I'll just cycle through and it's quite nice. I can, uh, I can basically just move around and see if that looks nice or not. I'll go to ortho 2, see how that looks. Looks a bit better. Ortho 3. Ortho 3 doesn't quite cover everything. Uh, so I think I'll pick ortho 2. So again, I'll go copy and paste. And I've fixed uh, that portion of the uh, overpass. You can see it looks pretty good on my final mosaic. And once again, I'm getting a live feedback as I'm making these edits, which is really nice. Uh, the next one I'll do is uh, I'll go back to my quick ortho preview window. I'll pick this polygon here. And uh, you can see I've got some areas of occlusion here and some duplication. So I'll just cycle my way through the different orthos. Obviously not that one. That one doesn't look very good. This one either. Ortho 3 looks pretty good, but I don't have data all the way across. So how about ortho 4? It looks like ortho 4 is my best bet in this case. So I'm going to come back to my smart geofill window. I'll just uh, position myself so you can see the effects of that uh, edit. So I'll just go uh, copy and paste. And you can see that that looks pretty good. And the last part is uh, this inside part of the overpass here, which is looking a little bit jagged still. So I'll just uh, zoom in here at one to one. I'll select uh, that particular uh, location and I'll work my way through the different orthos. Ortho one looks pretty good. I can zoom in here. I'm using the mouse wheel now to zoom in and out. That looks like it's gonna fit pretty nice actually, ortho one. So once again, I'll just go back here and I'll go copy, paste. And just like that, if I turn my uh, vectors off now and I zoom out, that's essentially it. I've completely fixed this overpass. Um, I made edits to the DEM. Then I was able to use Smart Geofill to pick the best ortho to fit it into the final mosaic. So you can see that I essentially I never left uh, Geomatica. I didn't have to use a non-geospatial software like Photoshop or anything like that. And uh, really the result uh, is, is quite remarkable and uh, very accurate. I can uh, obviously when I'm pasting this, uh, pasting this content in, I've got different options for blend width. I've got different options for color balancing. I didn't pick any of those options in this case, but if you did have different orthos, uh, that maybe were not exactly taken at the same time of day or a different solar illumination or something like that. Uh, you could play with the uh, color balancing, maybe bump up the brightness or the contrast or, or uh, do your best to, uh, to match them in. And really, uh, all done within Geomatica. And uh, we really think this is going to save you a lot of time and effort in terms of uh, working in these complex areas. This is one overpass here which um, I could easily uh, complete within probably half an hour to an hour, something like that. Um, you know, we're not talking about multiple hours. We're not talking about multiple days. We're not leaving uh, the geospatial software at any point to uh, interrupt the workflow. And uh, we just really think this is going to be quite helpful. So thanks for watching this episode of uh, PCI Tech TV. Be sure to subscribe to watch, uh, to get updates on new, uh, new demonstrations and new videos that we're posting on our channel. And if you have any comments, uh, be sure to leave those down below or send us an email. We'd be glad to hear from you. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.